In this video, we're going to look at the current regulator diode right there. It's not actually a diode, even though diode is in the name, be aware of that. But you can see it says 102. That stands for 1000 microamps, which is the same as 1 milliamp. We'll talk about that in a little bit coming up. To the right there is the cathode. Uh, the gray band, I should say, indicates cathode. You can see it leads to tracing to uh, that pin right there. And then the anode side, the side without a marking, leads to tracing to that pin there. Middle pin there is not connected to anything. This current regulator diode is a surface mount. It just goes on the uh, board directly. It looks like Joe Knows Electronics actually made this board themselves. And there's the part number right there. And uh, we'll talk about that a little more coming up. And you can see that we got a through hole right there. These are uh, wires that come through and then you solder. That's the difference between surface mount and through hole for a quick introduction. So we're going to take the cathode side there and connect it to the uh, negative side of the power supply. The pin there, the anode up there, we're leaving a space. As I said before, this one is rated, this uh, current regulator diode for one milliamp. So if we complete the circuit, measure the current, there you can see it says 0.98 milliamps right there. That's with the power supply set to 5 volts. The voltage doesn't matter, you need probably a couple volts though to actually uh, get that amount of uh, current. You need enough power. We'll go uh, 16 volts, just because that's kind of where I stopped. And now we'll complete the circuit there, and we got 1 milliamp. We added a lot more voltage, so looks like it changed slightly but for the most part it's holding one milliamp of current so now we'll zoom in to get a uh, better look right here and first we'll take that same current measurement just for a better look but you can't see the uh, power supply voltage and now we will add an LED so the LED is an actual LED we have to put it in the right way shortly the cathode we're going to the anode of our regulator uh, diode Long lead the anode up one row so we can connect it to the positive supply through the LED right there. And uh, you can see current did not change even though we added the LED. So now the current regulator diode is on the low side. It was towards the negative side of the power supply in relationship to the LED. We will uh, move it up right there. And now it will be on the high side of the circuit versus the LED. And you can see that it still passes that amount of current. doesn't matter where it is within the uh, series circuit. It's going to regulate the current. So, by the way, I did set the power supply to 5 volts for that uh, last test. We're going to need at least 7 volts when it comes to our next test. And we're going to have to set the meter to measure voltage right there. And so I'm not going to go into the details of uh, how I set up the meter. I did that in uh, earlier videos. We're just going to kind of speed uh, through this. So, we are going to remove the LED. And this is a good reason why you would use a current limiting diode. So we have a Zener diode here rated for 5.1 volts. You use it reverse bias. So there's the cathode. That's going to be more positive. The anode uh, to the right there. And uh, Zener diodes are specially made to start conducting. When you have them reverse bias at a certain voltage, they'll start conducting. They come in different rated values. So we should have one milliamp of current going through it. This is a 5.1 volt Zener diode, as I said before. And there you can see we got 5.16 volts. And uh, so if we put more current through there, it would go up a bit. If we put less, it would go down a bit. So that was at uh, 7 volts. Now we're going to uh, go up to uh, 15 volts. And actually we could go higher, but this kind of feels like a uh, safe uh, spot to uh, stay at current wise and uh, there you can see it's still 5.16 volts even though we got three times as much power uh, basically because we got a higher voltage but uh, the same amount of current right there so the current regular diode is getting hotter but uh, if we need a steady uh, voltage signal there you can see we have that so now really quickly we're going to go over uh, some more information that I wrote out to help uh, you remember this. So even though it's not an actual diode as we said before, this is the only use for it, it doesn't block uh, current, we have a diode looking schematic symbol that I came across for this component. So the cathode side is the band and then the side without the band is the anode right there. Current regulator diode I think is the best name for it 
and uh, so CRD I wrote uh, current regulating sometimes you might see that too but in any case you might hear it referred to as a current limiting diode CLD or a constant current diode so this is the S102 that I showed you in the uh, video and uh, T the T is how it comes uh, packaged so that's uh, not really part of the number it's just letting you know how it comes packaged if you buy them new and uh, uh, so the S102 so S is for surface mount as I showed before it was attached directly to the board the uh, E series if it's an E102 it would look like a regular diode and uh, so that's leaded not leaded but uh, it's spelled like leaded but it's leaded so in any case the 102 as I said one milliamp that's actually 1000 microamp so one zero and then two is for two more zeros but that's in microamps you need to convert it uh, to milliamps if that's what you're working with milliamps and uh, it has on the data sheet I always refer to the data sheet though don't just go by I said the data sheet said it has a minimum value of uh, 0 0.88 and a maximum of uh, 103 so it looks like maybe you can expect it to vary a bit but uh, the one we had was pretty uh, spot on so to help uh, if this is a little confusing help uh, reinforce that there is a 301 uh, version right there that gives you 0.3 milliamps because you got three you got zero and then one more zero as you can see one zero there but that's in microamps need to be converted to uh, milliamps we have the uh, power rating that I got from the data sheet so it's interesting this is a small component but apparently it's a 500 milliwatt uh, component so we could have raised the voltage by a lot the uh, E series would be the leaded kind, the wires coming out that you solder on the other side of a breadboard from where you insert the component, 300 milliwatt. So as I said before, it's not a diode. If you put it in backwards, and I tested this out, it looks like it passes whatever current you apply to it with the other components and stuff. So I had current limited well below 50 milliamps, but it looks like 50 milliamps is the maximum allowable reversible uh, current. So the circuit we looked at with the Zener diode, we had a really steady uh, voltage. So even though it was a 5.1 volt Zener diode at one milliamp, it was giving us 5.16. And uh, so that was the output we got, even as we changed the voltage from seven volts to uh, 15 volts. And as we saw, it's actually a relatively high wattage uh, component. And uh, so we could have gone a lot higher than 15 volts, but that's what I demonstrated. So that's the value that I put there. So, in any case, hopefully that all made sense and you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.